everyone, I am back once again. This is a bit of a different video. I know I'm gonna have to do so many videos, like do a DC movie vs. Bane video, SH Figure Arts and Marvel Legends Thanos, MCU version video, yada, yada, yada. But for Halloween, I'll try to make a few videos. Excuse me. I'll try to do one today, which is based off the a ranking of every NECA Jason from the Friday the 13th series. Then maybe tomorrow I'll try to do an upload of the NECA um, Halloween 2018 Michael Myers re-review. Then the Halloween 2 Michael Myers review. Then a Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers triple review, which, which is I have three Michael Myers masks. I might get another one, who knows. And a review of Halloween 2018. Hopefully that will come soon because I made a whole ginormous script. I literally had to sleep so late for it. Anyways, the rules are these are only counting NECA Jason. So I'm sorry, you two. As much as I like you two, especially you, you know, you, as much as I like you two, you are not in this. But if they were, they would be honorable mentions. Except for him. So, not only that, but... Not only am I going to go over that, that I don't have part 7 because it hasn't even came to the release yet. So there will be a re-ranking re, re, re on this. So take this with a grain of salt when you the problem, something like that. So if it seems a bit, a bit off. I didn't have any time to actually write the script or anything or even more write my ranking or write my actual thoughts on all these Jasons. And this is just a personal opinion about it. These are just personal opinions. Don't get mad. Please let me know in the comments on what is your favorite NECA Jason. Also, another rule is that I don't, again, any other Jasons are not going to be counted for. So unfortunately, the Movie Maniac Jasons are not counted Part 7 will not count because they don't have that, the ultimate part 7 yet. NES won't count, and it's variant. And every other Jason figure from NECA, McFarlane, Mezco, they will not count because I don't have them. I only have the ultimate. So, let's start off with the least favorite of mine. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention... I will not do articulation on most of, on all of these Jasons. I'm sorry, I'm not going to. I, if you want to do it, I'll try to link a playlist of all my NECA Jasons, including my McFarlane reviews of every NECA Jason. I will try to do that. But unfortunately, the least coming in at number eight is the NECA Dream Sequence Jason from Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually think this Jason, for beginners, is really good. One of the best beginner Jason figures. I even modded it myself a little bit by adding some bendy wire, tang tying and tying and tying it up to make this sort of chain look, like Part 7. What he comes with? Well, he comes with a machete, an axe, a corkscrew, a chopped up hand from part four, which can be used for part four, the part four figure, a tombstone, and four heads. The one he has, which is the uh, flat, the, um, the hallucination Jason, and the other two, three mask. One, this is the one in the box with the worms. This is the one where he doesn't have the worms. This is a pretty good look. But this one, this one's pretty unique. This, this is the part five uh, VHS cover of Jason. And it looks really, really nice. Now, what are my main gripes? I don't know why this figure is really Although for beginners, this is a very good release. Beginners, I honestly just suggest you get this. But I don't know why in the world does this exist. It's literally just there just because. 
Granted, everyone could probably prob probably anyone has probably bought a second part four, repainted it, and then like make it into a hallucination, Jason. Granted, it's not this, but at least it's something. Although I don't think it's necessarily a bad figure, I do think, yeah, it's a bit strange why they made this, considering they also made part four. Now let's move on to number seven. Coming in at, unfortunately, number seven is part two. This figure comes with, in terms of, okay, I'm gonna be real honest here, I don't have his unmasked head. I don't have it, I'm sorry. I don't know where it is, it's in my accessory bin, but he comes with a campfire, a, his mother's head, a pickaxe, a spear, a knife, a machete, and a pitchfork. Okay. In all reality, this one's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Articulation-wise, I think this figure is good. Really good. I think in terms of accessories, I think this is one of the best. Considering in terms of dioramas. Considering you get not only the Pamela head, but also this campfire piece. Although I wish the Pamela head was on, you know, a stand or even more the shrine that he would, she was in. It does, I, it's, it's pretty nice addition. The main gripe I have with it is its articulation. The head is very limited and like, hold on, let me just remove his head. This is all the amount of range you got. And when you put his head back on, you can only can do 360 and back and forth. Arms are limited. His legs feel really, really tight. And so are his thighs. Although I do admit his waist articulation is really good, but kind of limited. Although I still kind of like this Jason. I never, ever, 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 ever bothered to get him for a reason. He just never looked interesting to me. I was all... the Okay. Some history before I move on. The first NECA Jason I ever got was the Freddy vs. Jason. The second Jason I got, I think, was the remake Jason. Then Dream Sequence. Then Part 4. Then 5. Then 3 and 6. Then this figure, I think... And then this and this uh, this one, which I was buying to sell, but I didn't know how to do eBay. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not that. Yeah, it's just, in terms of the accessories, it's really good, but articulation, it's kind of limited. All right, so now let's move on to number seven. Yeah, number seven, and this is probably going to piss a lot of people off. The Ultimate Part 3 Jason. Now, this is the thing. These are all, I forgot to mention this rule again. Most of these figures I got, except part four, are all the original releases. Now, I don't know if part five and, I think part five has been reissued. I don't know. And Freddy vs. Jason the remake haven't been reissued, but part five Roy has been reissued, I think. I guess dream sequences have, but definitely part three, Four and six have been reissued with better paint schemes in terms of their accessories and the figure itself. Now, this, this is the original release. Um, it's good. It's a very good figure. Accessory-wise, he has the hatchet, not an axe. This, um, pitchfork, a machete, a fire poker a spear gun, a knife, a monkey wrench, which he barely even used, and this unmapped, this battle damage head sculpt, which is really nice, but let's move on to the negatives. I think the main issue with this, at least for mine, and this is a common complaint, considering this is part three and he had sort of different looks during the final end of the film when he gets axed in the head, there is not only some blood here, but there is also some blood on the neck, which is such an odd contrast when compared to his alternate head, 
his main head, which is not that bloody. So it kind of is very annoying. So if you want, like, what, one that's regular, but unfortunately has a bloody neck, or you want one that's has a bloody neck, but you want to stick to that, I don't know. It's kind of sad, because I think, and also another issue, at least for mine, and this happens, I guess, for the old release, the straps on this hockey mask suck. The hockey mask doesn't want to stay. Like, it moves down, it doesn't secure, and the straps are on a separate piece compared to other Jasons, where they're, even though they're separate, they're locked in place, they don't flop around, they don't look like they're about to break. Another issue? Not seeing it on camera, but look at that. His hand doesn't want to stay in full, which is really disappointing. It's sad that he has that that kind of killed it this hand and also at least for mine and this happens for all the releases he is too wobbly like he's too wobbly i still think this is a good figure don't get me wrong i think he's really good but unfortunately i don't think he has the I don't think he's that, you know, that mind-blowingly amazing or something like that. He's just, he's a pretty good starter, Jason. Another great addition if you want to start your Jason collection. But I'd rather get the reissue, in my opinion. Considering the reissue has better paint, has a better paint scheme and better quality control than this. All right, let's move on to... Number six, which is probably going to piss a lot of people off. At number six says, this is probably pissed a lot of people off. The NECA Part 6 Jason. This figure comes with his spear, which is in two pieces, but currently this thing is broken, so it's sad. He has this hand, and he has the machete and knife. And for some reason, this hockey mask is a separate piece. Now, why did he put this up in part three? I don't know if it's just because I really, really like Jason Lives to the point it's my favorite film in the franchise, but I actually think I kind of like this figure. I got some pretty good photo photography out of it. So I'll show you right now. Yeah, those, the, I mean, I guess that's some pretty good, I mean, Pretty good photography you can get for this figure. In fact, mo if not all of these, you can get some pretty good photography. For this figure, what he comes with, yeah, it's a bit lacking. Um, Maybe he would have maybe came with a little bit more. But otherwise, I think this is a very good figure. Even, at least in my opinion. Um, articulation is standard, although... This is one of the main issues, but let's go over the main issue. I always hear, hear with fig this figure. The hockey mask. This is not the hockey mask. This is so big. Like, it's so big. There's a retro... That, it's even kind of sad that the retro figure is better. Which, I don't own it. I've seen it before, and I sh probably should have gotten it, but... Instantly regret... But as you can see, this is a major difference compared to other Jason. Let's see, let's grab this Freddy vs. Jason mask. His, the eye holes are solid black. Um, the, and in terms of the axe cut, it's not that much. I had to trim a bit more, but it was just solid plastic. And even more, I had to dent the chevron to look a bit more worn. I might also custom paint his mask to make it look like he's a little, the mask was a little bit dirty. But otherwise, I think I really like this figure. Articulation-wise, yeah. Excuse me. It's not that well done, but I think it serves the purpose, I guess, anything in the more the, the excuse me, the uh, reissue is better. And if you get the canvas like accessory set, this little figure will look really nice on it. It'll look really nice with that uh, Jason Liz piece. It'll look really, really nice. All right, let's move on to number five. 
And at number five is the NECA Ultimate Remake, Jason. This figure, I, as of now, I don't have his, um, I don't have this fire poker and the, and the ice pick, but I have a screwdriver. So, but as I said, he comes with a machete, a alternate head where he has the bag. He also has an alternate hand to hold for the screwdriver, the, the screwdriver, the, um, screwdriver, the, uh, the pickaxe. With a ice pick and the fire poker, which it's broken, which I fixed, sort of. And this other hand, which, yes, this figure broke. And even more made a dent right up there. And even more custom painted it, because the paint, I'll get to that later. But anyways, this figure is broken because I broke his hand. The hand peg, which is so sad. But as for the figure, it still stands. Now, I think this figure is good. Pose is well, um, but the main issue is this hockey mask, again, and this head in general. And I was taking him off. I haven't took his mask off in, like, a long time. I haven't gotten him out of my glass cabinet for a long time. But as you see, I custom painted this mask. The original mask looked terrible. It looked like, it looked bad. It looked that um i think overall yes this mask was not like this it was it was sort of like the poster where there was a light and then parts of the mask were shaded another issue i have that a lot of people have with this is how the hair is done this is a separate piece and it's not molded into the sculpt and it's all fixed just for this all just for this mask which just doesn't work but i think as of now looking at his pose i think this is one of the best jasons in terms of if we want to pose him into a good pose he's really good and if you can find him for a good price i suggest you get him i think this is one of the better jasons to get out there all right let's move on to number four hopefully that this isn't too convoluted Coming in at number three, yes, I accidentally screwed up. I I accidentally said eight, and then I think I went, like, I actually said nine, and then I went, like, what, eight, seven, six, five. So, in all reality, I'll just kind of restart it again or recap it, but hopefully you can remember. I'm sorry if I did this. This whole video was sort of rushed, but hopefully I can do my Halloween, my Halloween 2018 review, but... Anyways, here, so basically number eight is dream sequence. Number, dream sequence. Number seven is part two. Number six is part three. Number five is dream sequence. Well, not dream sequence, part six. I keep on screwing them up. Again, this video was very, very rushed. Number four is this guy remake so number three is part four the reissue version he has a hacksaw a tombstone an alternate head where you can basically recreate the scene where he gets axe machete to the skull an axe a, mach a machete a knife a meat cleaver a corkscrew and an alternate hand for the smaller weapons except the corkscrew and the hacksaw i think this figure not only paint scheme looks very good, it looks more weathered down, and even and the skin isn't too much. Although I am a little bit bothered that his nose is so that the nose is dented. However, it is movie accurate to it is accurate to the movie, so that's kind of sad. That's that's one case where I like the original release better. But articulation-wise, oh, this is better. Even though it, these Jasons roughly have the same, this guy has a proper way of ab crunch, even though his pelvis wants to break. And I probably have to fix it. And, like, just posing him around is a lot of fun. Putting, he's just, like, a, he's just a very good standard 
Jason. In fact, I actually, in terms of human Jason, part four is my favorite. I actually really like part four, Jason. Again, figure is nice. Paint is excellent. The accessories are very good. And everything else is just really good. I really like this figure a lot. I really do. So let's go over to number two. And at number two is the part five, Roy Burns. Now, I don't have his other ultra hand with like this, so yay. It's in my accessory bin. But I actually really like this figure. The amount of accessories is actually a lot. It's almost very accurate to the movie. What, he uses a flare, a tree branch, a belt, a garden shears the machete the this knife this this nail that i almost lost just like this railroad spike all he's really missing is that axe but even more you can use a dream sequence version for it sorry about that so basically um not only that, the articulation on this figure is very good. Considering it uses the Halloween 2018 Michael Myers body mold, it's an obvious that I would like this. The articulation is also feels a lot more fluent than the Michael Myers. Even though that his hand, this hand doesn't want to pop in properly, I think so far this figure is really good. For a long time, this is for fans, before the Part 7 figure came out, this has always been the best Jason from NECA. And I don't, I, I actually almost agree. I actually think this is probably one of their, be their best considering paint, articulation, and how it's accurate. And I just really wanted this just for the mask, but this figure is just really good. I'd say get it if you really like part five, but I just, come on. It's, it's a good Jason. But the last one will probably piss a lot of people off, so let's move on to my favorite Jason as of now. Probably gonna piss a lot of people off, but at number one is the Freddy vs. Jason Jason. Oh man, I know this is gonna piss a lot of people off. This figure comes with a machete with a flame, two machetes. One is bloody, one is not. One, there's a flame effect piece, a teddy bear, and two sets of masks. One is bloodied up and one is scratched. Now, personally, I think this figure is really good. I The amount of display options you can display with this head, his masks, is insane. Even though I kind of wish he came with more, and even more I wish he kind of came with more hands, I think this figure is really good. Yes, he's floppy too. But I still enjoy him. Yes, he's stiff. Yes, he's loose. Yes, it feels a little bit stiff. Although, it's fun to pose him around and get him into some very cool dynamic poses with Freddy Krueger or with Michael Myers. I think also another reason why, and I'm probably admitting, and I'm actually admitting it, admitting it. The reason why I think also this is probably my favorite is because I really like this design. Personally, I know this Jason gets some a lot of hate. This Jason gets a ton of hate. But personally, it is one of my favorites and it used to be my favorite Jason, like my number one favorite. Part seven would be like the very, like my second favorite. And it is, it is a good figure. I mean like, and if not one of the best, I honestly suggest if you want any of the Jasons of the, like the early 2000s or anything like that, I honestly suggest this one over the remake. Paint-wise is better, and, like, paint-wise and comparing him with others, oh, he's really good. Like, one of the best. Comparing him to Michael Ma my NECA Halloween 20 team Michael Myers, he's really, really good. So, anyways, yeah, that is my ranking. Um, yes, this video is very, very rushed. Just saying. I It's completely, it's 9.48 right now. So... Um, it's 9.48, 
Um, I'm probably gonna have to edit this video right now, add the photos and whatnot. So while you're doing that, I'll upload this to my main channel, by the way. Um, hit subscribe, at least on my main channel, please. Um, and maybe for New Year's, I will upload all of my videos of every video. So that means I don't, you guys don't have to go every up and down to my other channel. So, yeah, once that comes, I will definitely, definitely try to upload more videos and whatnot. And until then, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. And I'll see you guys next time with my re-review on the NECA Halloween 2018 Michael Myers figure. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.